Gigantosaurus. Ja Jurassic World Dominion. So this is the version of Gigantosaurus from the trailer, right? So yeah, kind of head on the side. It's that, you know, that fight with the T-Rex, you know, that cool thing they released. So I would imagine this is the final version that's going to be in the movie. I don't know. Anyway, I'm on landscape paper, use a pencil and eraser. Hit pause if I go too fast when I move my hand, right? So let's start with the eye, okay? So I'm on the horizontal line is about here, right? Center point of my page. We want to come up over to the left. Head is in this section of my paper. So we're going to go with this big eye. Curve around like that. Down. Around and into here. Like so. And in, in the trailer, the eye is like looking down, but I think we'll make them look a bit creepier, right? I always think they look a bit more sinister when the eye is like up here. And you're going for like this cat-like thin eye. Right, like so. And then, and then, so we've got like eyelid lines coming around here, right? All this sort of texture and stuff like that. And then he's got like a big sort of bumping kind of line here. I want more bags under his eyes and stuff all around like so. his eye and then so we have another sort of rounder section just here so again this can have um, like as much wrinkles and stuff as you want on it this is like his eye socket or something all right like so so then we've got like this bumping ridge on top right so where is it? So say like back here. So we'll add sort of a couple of sort of spikes like this, right? Like so. And this kind of comes down the back of his head. You can make it sort of a little bit 3D, right? And from here, it seems to like come down right down across like his eye, like the top of his eye down here. And there seems to be like another sort of eye section. All right, and this this will go down pretty close to the nose, okay? So we'll go and we'll bump it. So we'll bump it down like this. Let's say to like here somewhere, right? And then it'll go back this way, Gigantosaurus. Right, like that. And then on this we have like scales and bumps and stuff. So it has like a sort of a line that comes down this way. And then these sort of scales and bumps come down. Down the side like this. So it's kind of like this defensive sort of bone or something that's along the front edge of his forehead. Okay, something like that anyway. 
and then that round section of the nose that sort of Jurassic World dinosaurs have you know this kind of thing it's kind of like a bone here and a bone there and his eye is protected inside here and this can have sort of texture lines and you know dots and circles and scales like for reptiles is always like a good thing to add just clumps of them Okay. So we we'll go front of his snout. So the front of the snout is like out here. And it'll go bumping down around here. And this will wrinkle and bump all the way around. So we're bumping now for teeth and everything. So you're bumping around his gum line sort of thing like this, okay? And it kind of like curves down here. And eventually goes back up this way. Around like the back of his head up here. This like, it's got bumps and spikes and stuff on it as well. into here and then we may have another sort of little bumpy region just okay so his nostril then is just like up here so you got this sort of black nostril there just color it in dark like so and then you could have like a line around it like that and then this sort of bony ridge comes down this way All right and then we can see this bony ridge on the other side of his head as well right so so like coming up this way, right? So it's kind of like here and it kind of spikes out this side. There somewhere. And then the middle line for his nose which runs down this way. Right, and this will have sort of this bone line coming down there. And this will have all these sort of textures on it and stuff like that. And then he's got these center spines that run all the way down his back. So we start to get a bit spiky here now. kind of round on top right so this and this will eventually go all the way down right we'll just add some texture right, coming down each of these like a fin or something Lots of texture and stuff. Lines like that, right? So he's got this kind of mohawk thing coming down the back of his head. Right. 
So that's the top part of his skull. So we got like these, this sort of bumping lines coming across his gum line. All the way across. Down like that. And then his bottom jaw kind of comes out from here, right? And again, like before I do the bottom jaw, like there can be sort of like another sort of bony sort of section here, maybe his ears in here or something. And keep adding sort of texture and stuff. Right. Dupe. Yeah, or maybe like a scar. It's always good to give them scars. Especially the carnivores who are like fighting all the time. And hunting and stuff. Right, so his bottom jaw, we'll do that. So the bottom jaw comes down. And it goes around here. Around for his chin. Then we'll bring it back in around here. Again, sort of bumpy line. teeth kind of stick out from here. Right, like that. And then we'll go, we'll do these sort of lines on it again. And as much texture as you'd like. So this just makes him look just more wrinkly and things. Okay. So it's kind of making more sense now. So, what we can see of, right, so he's got, see that sort of skin line that they always have just in here. Right, like that, and then loads of teeth, top and bottom, right? So, now from the top. the way across they don't have to be like super sharp or pointy or anything you can if you want they're mostly kind of blunt sort of things yeah, they got these kind of round tops on them mostly some of them are sharper than others and then we do a layer across the bottom and they're kind of smaller on the bottom So, right, and then the tongue, and there's like a layer of teeth that goes back up this way somewhere. So the tongue just comes out down here. And you could have like the center tongue line 
there. And you can see a little bit of it going back up this way and kind of in behind, maybe bottom of it there. Then another layer of teeth just going back this way, right? So. And because we're looking at the inside of his mouth here, you can see actually the gum line itself on these ones. Right. Like so, roughly speaking. So, where's my picture gone? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Left her in lay there. Okay. Uh, right. <clears throat> so, more wrinkles, texture, loads of it, right? Spines all coming down his back, right? So, a couple of layers. We can see two or three of them, right? So, see the neck comes down this way, and then we start to add more of these spiking stuff, and they do get bigger as we go down. Okay. So, then if I can see rightly, there is another layer, right? So, you just add, I think, I think there's another layer. I hope there is, or I'm doing this for nothing. <laughs> so let's say this. of it inside so it's just these kind of spikes pyramids as I call them you know so you just do a spike like that and then a line like that kind of makes it look just a little bit 3d and he's quite bumpy the whole way down So, so texture and necklines and stuff then, right? So in around here, so we got like his neck coming down this way. And we can see his shoulder here. And some more sort of wrinkles on his neck on the other side. Sort of like neck, sort of here. Right, so this should have lots of these sort of dino kind of wrinkly neck sort of things going on, real thick. And like his shoulders about here somewhere. Let's say there. The other side of the shoulder, underneath these spines, sort of here, right? So, and then you have more necklines and things here, wrinkles and textures, and wrinkles coming across these.
All right, that kind of thing. So I'm just, I'm adding like lots of texture coming across these now. And you want like this line, these lines to be like deep, dark, thick, you know, nearly shadowed up, really dark shadow lines. Because you know, it just makes them stand out a little bit more. And his neckline goes all around there. And then there'll be loads of texture running down this way. And little, little spikes every now and then. Lines going down. Okay, and then I'll just darken up the shoulder line here a little bit. make that stand out a little bit more. Do 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 and like thicken up some edge lines. Sharpie's wasting. So this just like makes the animal or drawing or character, whatever you're doing, just sort of stand out a little bit more. And it makes your texture lines seem, seem a bit finer. So it separates those things. It makes certain things stick out a little bit more. Probably said that already. <laughs> So you're defining edges. You know, when you're doing a line drawn like this, like you're drawing edges of things and textures. Right. So life on the edge. That's what you're doing. When you're drawing lines, contour lines and things like this. Always defining edges and boundaries and you know, the background compared to the object and all this. Anyway, but that's it. Uh, it's kind of more theoretical stuff. All right, but I think I'll leave it there. I hope it was helpful, as usual. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Gigantosaurus, bye.